impudent brats. You waste your time. Soon your series will be cancelled, and then you'll all cease to exist. You're lying. Take it back. Behold the future, since none of you will live to see it. <laughs> Once I destroy you, four kids will have no choice but to create an all-new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it won't involve any of you. This just got serious. We have to defeat Anubis so that crappy spin-off show is never created. My grandpa said something about a prophecy back at the museum. What did the prophecy say? Hell if I know, I wasn't listening to him. Yug! Oh come on, he's really old. Most of the stuff he says revolves around his bladder. We're going to die because of you. You're a jerk! Man, am I glad Taya's not here. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away. I can't hold back anymore! I must be with Yugi! No, Taya, don't! For God's sake, woman, can't you control your hormones for just five minutes? Oh, just let her jump. Whee! Moon prism power! Oh, good. Yugi, remember who you are. You must take your place in the circle of card games. Insolent girl, your incessant Disney references are futile. Now I shall do all the fans a favor and destroy the most annoying Yu-Gi-Oh character ever. Oh, no. Spinning bird kick! Finally, an action sequence that doesn't involve card games. Holy on a sandwich! This scene is surprisingly violent. Yeah. Did you see that? I just tore that guy's fing arm clean off. This is the best movie ever. Now, Yugi, watch as I beat you with your own god cards. I sacrifice my blue eyes shining dragon to destroy the Pyramid of Light. This I cannot allow. Look out, Kaiba! There's a naked man behind you! Don't look at his penis, 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 don't look at his. Ah! I looked. So you're the one who's been behind all this! The Egyptian Lord of the Dead! Anubis! I'm pleased that you remember me, Pharaoh. You certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? I mean, come on, the movie's almost over. Who do you think you are? Venom? Silence! Now, after 5,000 years of waiting, I'm going to challenge you to a children's card game. And then I'll destroy the world. Why would you want to do that? What? What's the point in destroying the world? What do you gain from it? I don't understand the question. Look, you must have a reason for wanting to destroy the world. Otherwise, this whole movie was just pointless bickering. Of course I have a reason. Oh, goody. Do you feel like sharing it with the class? No. It's a secret. You're the most disappointing movie villain since General Grievous. Try telling that to your friends. What are you saying? As we speak, my minions are devouring their souls. They are helpless without you, Pharaoh. And soon they shall die. That's it, pal. You just f***ed with the wrong Egyptian. Eek! Eek, Tristan, not me! My voice gives me super strength. Look, that eye is all glowy and stuff. That must be his weak point. It's just like in Shadow of the Colossus. I only have one chance. Yugi, I love you, but we only have 14 hours to save the Earth. Here goes nothing. Ugh. Damn, I suck. Ha ha ha. That was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. I'm cracking up. Literally. And now I activate Monster Reborn to bring back Kaiba's blue eyes shining dragon. Go, Shining Nova. Use all your power to destroy the Pyramid of Light. Okay, I'll give you all my lunch money. Huh? You can't possibly have destroyed my Pyramid of Light on your own. You must have had help. Nope, it was all me, baby. Now I use Reverse of Reverse to activate the last card played by Kaiba. Return from the different dimension. Welcome back, my Egyptian gods. Obelisk the Tormentor, Slifer the Executive Producer, and Mega Ultra Chicken. Chicken, arise. Arise, chicken. Arise. You can't do that. I can do whatever I want because I'm voiced by Dan Green. Go, Egyptian gods! Epileptic seizure attack! Curse you, Dan Green!
Hey, Kaiba, are you okay? Take your filthy paws off me, you damn dirty ape. You haven't beaten me yet. I'm going to summon all my darkest powers to destroy the world once and for all. Why didn't you just do that in the first place instead of wasting our time with that extremely tedious card game? Shut up. You're going to die, and then you'll be dead. Because I killed you! How are we supposed to destroy a real monster? The same way we do everything in this show, by using children's trading cards. Here, Yugi. I do it myself, but I'm obscenely rich. I have lots of money. Blue, Blue eyes, shining, shining dragon, dragon! Destroy, destroy Anubis. Anubis! Shining, shining Nova, Nova attack! <laughs> Meanwhile, thousands of miles away. Well, it looks like it's the end of the movie. All in all, it was kinda disappointing. I can't help but feel as if it was all just some cheap cash-in made to promote a bunch of cards. It's almost like this whole story was thrown together at the last minute. I agree. So from now on, let's pretend it never happened. These new cards I won from Pegasus are incredible. In fact, they're so powerful that I will never use them again. Come on, Mokuba. We're getting out of this crappy little movie. Coming, bro. Shut up, Mokuba. This never would have happened when I was a boy. You kids these days and your millennium items and your card games and your loud music and your hula hoops and your hopscotch and your dungarees and your lollipops and your Sony Playstations and your voice activated light switches and your leather pants and your artificial insemination. That's enough, Grandpa. It's time for the big message. Hey, I'm not finished ranting. We've learned that card games are the answer to all life's problems and the only thing I know for certain in this world is that there's a strange man living inside my head who tells me to do things. You say Said it, Yugi. Now burn everything. Burn it to the ground. It was the 36th time that he broke my heart. It was the 80th time that I'm falling apart. I knew from the start it was gonna be rough, but not as painful as this. Once I didn't have money, twice I forgot his name. Then I put on my makeup wrong. My hair was a big mess, and so was my dress. I remember those times. It was the 36th time that he broke my heart It was the 80th time that I'd fallen 
your Blu-ray discs and your pierced scrotums and your bullfrogs and your telekinesis and your Marvel comics and your YouTube.com and your nuclear physics and your ingrowing toenails and your Gears of War and your Quentin Tarantino and your power steering and your elevators and your illegitimate offspring and your Hey, why did it fade to black? Am I dead? No, Gramps, it's just the end of the movie. Oh, fiddlesticks.